Hi again, Brett here. In this video, I want to talk about how the OSPID compares to industrial equivalents. Um, some similarities, some improvements, uh, but yeah, let's take a look. Uh, first off, the case, uh, we went with a laser cut acrylic case, which is neat because you can see through it. It makes it a little bit bigger than the industrial versions, but the boards inside are just the right size to fit into a 116 thin hole. So with a case redesign, um, it's really important to you. You could definitely get it to fit the exact same form factor as an industrial version. As far as hardware goes, um, input-output card, uh, very comparable. We have a thermocouple thermistor input card by default and a relay digital output card. So a 10 amp onboard relay, or you can send an output signal to a solid state relay. Again, very standard. Um, these are also swappable, so we have plans in the works for all kinds of new input and output cards to make it completely uh, on par with industrial uh, equivalents. Um, as far as uh, onboard user interface, we've got you know standard uh, navigation. You can go to a dashboard and see how the system is doing right from here. Um, you can adjust your tuning parameters uh, from right in the menu. Um, you can also initiate the auto-tune, which is another thing that every PID controller really needs to have. Uh, it's fun to kind of sit there, I guess, and change tuning parameters, but really to be a real PID controller, you need to have an auto-tune button. And this thing's a real PID controller, so it has an auto-tune button. Um, so yeah, very, very comparable. As far as differences, uh, cost is one. Uh, this is going to be more expensive than the cheapo guys that you're gonna find on eBay, but significantly less expensive than the industrial ones that you might be able to get from Omega or from some other uh, industrial reseller. Um, uh, also, uh, a difference, uh, we've got <laughs> a very big difference here. We have a nice Java front end. So if you're kind of tired of this onboard user interface, you can, take your USB mini, plug it in, choose your COM port, click connect, and now we have a full trending application with all the functionality of the onboard user interface just augmented. So you can see we've got a graph of the uh, set point input, a graph of the output. We can uh, change everything in real time. So if I'd like to adjust my set point, I can just do that from here. Um, we can observe, observe graphically how the process responds to that. Um, we can adjust the tuning parameters from here, initiate the auto-tune, um, do some advanced configuration of the uh, cards, um, and there's also some preferences. So really, a really powerful feature um, to, to include with this thing, and it's, well, essentially free. Uh, and that's one of the last minute that I want to talk about. This is an entirely open project, so uh, full source code released for this, all, of, all the, uh, the plans for the boards, everything, all firmware, and completely open. The firmware is uh, Arduino-based, so you can hack this thing to the end. I mean, just you can, you can kill this thing. So uh, you want to do both the therm thermistor and the thermocouple at the same time. Sure, yeah, whatever, go in there, put two PIDs in there, use both outputs, um, use this thing for something other than PID, go for it. I mean, it's completely open, uh, the sky's the limit, and I can't wait to see what you guys do with this. I think it's gonna be great.